All right, hello, hello. I hope everyone is doing well. Today, I'm gonna to cover a subject that is extremely important, how to price your services, whether it be SMMA or really any type of online services. This is a huge mistake, all right? If you're just saying, oh, I'm gonna charge 2K per month because everyone else is doing it and you're you know, just copying what you know most people are doing with their agencies, then that's a huge mistake, all right? The way I tell my students or the way like I price my services is extremely different and it's how you guys should be doing it, all right? And again, this is data that I've acquired um, after working with about 150 people, right? These are the people in my mentorship program. We help people who are just starting out. We give them all the tools, everything they need to succeed and sign a couple of clients and get the ball rolling. And I always get asked this question, Oliver, how much should I charge? Uh, I'll do free trial, I'll do this, I'll do performance based. You know, there's so many variations out there. It's hard to kind of know what you should be doing, all right? And today I'm gonna to break down the entire thing for you. So first thing, so, First thing, you want to look at the value that you're providing, right? Instead of the, the, the how much you should charge, look at the amount of value you're bringing. You know? So you have low value and you have high value. If you're providing something that has pretty much zero value, then of course you cannot charge anything for your services. All right, so zero dollars. However, if I'm providing something that is extremely valuable to my clients, then I can charge lots of money for it, right? And the objective is where you have to place your service in this, you can call it like a value ladder, let's say, right? Where is your service situated in this ladder? The closer it is to being something that's extremely valuable to the person you're working with, the more you can charge. And that's how you should price your services. So if you guys are doing the typical thing of, hey, I run Facebook ads, this is what it looks like, all right? Facebook ads is good, I'm not saying it's bad, but the issue is that you're not providing that much value because let, let's be honest, all right? Between me and you, you can just go on YouTube, watch a video or two from some random guy explaining to you how to run Facebook ads and within half an hour, you can have them launched, right? You don't have to be a genius to run Facebook ads, which is why I think it's a huge mistake if you're just running a Facebook ads agency because you're not really providing that much value to the marketplace. Right, the only value you're really bringing is yes, maybe the knowledge of you know knowing how to run ads. But if it's local, it's not too difficult to run. It's more so the time convenience of not having to do it. So you can basically delegate it to someone, and yes, some people might be willing to pay for it. But that being said, you cannot command a super high retainer. Okay. So, what can we learn from this? You can go about this two ways. Either you price your service accordingly, which is not going to be that much money, or if you're looking to charge a bit more money, how can I add more value? And another way you can look at this situation, if I duplicate it, is this way. This is what I always do with my, my students. Um, current situation versus uh, desired outcome. This extremely, extremely, extremely important, right? The objective is not what service should I provide? How much should I charge? Okay, I go to the marketplace and I do it. What I like to do is I, I find my, 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 my type of clients, right? So let's say meets agency owners. I work with agency owners. What is the desired outcome of the agency owners that I work with, all right? Let's say it's to make um, 100K per month, okay? That's the goal. They want to make 100k per month, right? And I work with someone who's making, let's say, 10k per month, right? So I actually have a program uh, that does this, okay? So I work with people who are making about 10,000, and I bring them to 100k per month. Do you honestly believe that just by running Facebook ads for these people, I can bring them to their desired outcome, which is 100k per month? The obvious answer is no. All right, there's a lot more that has to be done in order to help them achieve this goal. And the closer I bring them to the desired outcome, the more I can charge. To give you an example, what I do is I run their Facebook ads. I also uh, craft an offer. So I help them charge high tickets. So exactly what we're doing right now, I help them build this out for their service. Um, I, let's say, will build, build VSL for so their video sales order with the landing page. I run their Facebook ads. And I, let's say, do closing as well which is what we do, okay? As you can see, 
My service is not just Facebook ads. Look how much further I bring them, how closer I bring them to the desired outcome. And again, if we compare it to here, the closer I bring them, the more I can charge for my services. So if you're just doing Facebook ads, I would not, your main concern should not be how much should I charge, but rather what can I do in addition to my service to provide value to my clients, to provide even more value. Okay. In this like uh, example of like my service of what I do with my agency owners, the only thing I could probably improve on is help with um, fulfillment. Okay. This is one thing that I don't do for the moment. Okay. So as you can see, small thing that I could provide extra to add even more value to what I do, but I'm not doing. Okay. But I'm still bringing them so per close to their desired outcome which allows me to charge high ticket for my services. Okay. And a good rule of thumb is you want to charge about 10% of the, the outcome that you're going to give them. So if I'm going to get someone to hundred K per month, I can charge them 10,000 for my services. Okay. That's a good rule of thumb. But if I'm just running Facebook ads, I am not bringing them to hundred K. Okay. As, as you can see, like I would be here. There's all of this that needs to be done, so I cannot charge 10K for my services. This is not a 10K service just doing Facebook ads. There's a lot more to it, which will allow me to charge higher ticket. So going back to the subject of the video, how much, should, how should you price your services? Look at the amount of value that you're bringing to your clients. How much is that value worth? How much more can you add to their business? And then take about 10% of that. If you're just doing Facebook ads, I'm telling you right away, you're not providing that much value because anyone can do this. You can hire a guy from you know, overseas and then have them do it for 500 bucks per month. All right. So you, do, you cannot charge 10 K per month for a service like this. Okay. You need to add a bit more to the, the, the service to be able to complete it, to make it a bit more valuable and bring the clients closer to the desired outcome. And only once you do that, then you can command a high price. All right. So work on the offer, work on your fulfillment evaluate the how much is that worth to my potential clients and then from there you can charge your desired prices for your services all right i hope this was useful um i know i made a video on this like back in the day a long time ago but again after working with about 100 people i start to i started to become slightly smarter with the way i do things and now i'm realizing that this is the key of how to price your services all right it's a huge mistake that i see and if you're able to avoid it from day one then um, I mean, it's going to be perfect, right? And what's fun is that when you charge high ticket, you also have enough money to invest into helping them with the offer, the VSL, the ads, and the closing because you can hire better talent, all right? So yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope this was useful. As usual, guys, if ever you have any questions, anything you want to run by me, uh, just send me a DM on Instagram. I always try to respond to everyone. Uh, many people send me like looms and like they, they give me their workflow charts and stuff like that to review. So um, I try to help as many as I can. But yeah, I hope this was useful. Best of luck with everything and we'll see each other on the next video. Bye bye.